Right by weather rate for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. Jamie, a few minutes ago, Bailey made note of another great looking sunset here in the Ozarks. What are the odds that we'll be saying the same thing this time tomorrow night? Zero? Well, actually, actually, oh. the odds look okay that we're going to see maybe a very similar looking sunset. The problem is the majority of the day is going to okay. be cloudy. I think we're going to start the day off with some snow. Now, right now we are enjoying sunshine. Always makes a February day better, especially after a two day rain event. The howling winds of this morning have subsided. Uh, they're much lighter out of the west northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. This after gusts that topped 40 miles per hour, at least in places. Uh, Vichy coming in with a 45 mile per hour gust earlier today here in Springfield. We hit 40 miles per hour several times. Monette 37, Lebanon 36, and a gust of 36 miles per hour also in West Plains. That complements of that storm uh, that moved out of the area. I don't know if you were up late last evening, but uh, the wind started picking up as that low started to move north and east of Springfield. I heard the gusts outside my window. Uh, that storm now located up near the uh, Great Lakes. So this is yesterday's storm. This is tomorrow's storm in New Mexico. So we're between systems. Uh, we're enjoying quieter weather today. Now that storm on Friday, I tell you what, it's been a headache trying to pin down exactly how this thing is going to look as it moves across the area. It now looks like the majority of the upper level energy is going to pass well to the south. It looks like the storm's going to try to close off well to the south of the Ozarks. Why is that important? It's important because that dictates where the better chance for precipitation or snow was going to be with this storm system. And it now looks like most of that precipitation is going to tend to be south and southwest of the Ozarks. So our snow chances have come down dramatically over what it looked like it could have been even yesterday. I still think there's going to be a little bit of snow. Uh, looks like it may start off as a little light rain close to sunrise and then quickly transition over to light snow. And there may be a, a couple of different bands of it. One here I near I-44, another one setting up in northwest Arkansas. Uh, the band along the interstate will, will fall apart and then the one further south will kind of take over and become the main area of precipitation. And that's where I think we have the best shot at some accumulating light snow in places like Carroll County, Boone County, Newton County around the Jasper area. Uh, that precipitation will move out of the area during the afternoon. And while we're going to have cloudy skies, I think well into the afternoon, clouds should thin out from north to south as we work through the afternoon hours. And I think in Springfield, we'll end the day, uh, I think with a mix of sun and clouds, areas to the south will likely hold on to cloudy skies into the early evening hours. As far as snow potential, I'm not expecting much out of this system now. Uh, looks like we could see a dusting here with this northern band along I-44 uh, and then areas to the south also could find a dusting to maybe as much as uh, maybe a little more than an inch. Uh, the better odds of that will tend to be in the higher elevation areas uh, there south of Jasper. Uh, temperatures tonight, not terribly cold. Looks like about 32 for a low with highs tomorrow. Kind of feeling the impact of that cloud cover. It looks like low 40s to the north, near 40 here in Springfield. Winds not terribly strong out of the north at 5 to 15 miles per hour. A cold night will follow. Skies will be clear, and by Saturday morning, we're going to be close to 20 for a low. Saturday looks beautiful. Sunny skies. Winds are going to be light, so it's going to have kind of a fresh feel. It's not going to be terrible outside in the afternoon because of the sunshine and the light winds, but it will stay chilly. Afternoon highs near 50. Better on Sunday. I think we're going to find a, a mix of sun and clouds developing during the afternoon. Winds out of the southwest at 5 to 15 miles per hour with a high up around 58 degrees. And we're going to hold on to the mild weather into Monday. So looking ahead to next week, a mild Monday. Storm, the next one slated to move through on Valentine's Day. Uh, looks like it will bring wet weather, maybe a little thunder, and also some gusty winds to the area. A warm Wednesday will follow, and then a taste of winter, I think, as we uh, get to Thursday of next week. This is what it looks like in the seven-day forecast. There's your weekend forecast, looking good. Dry into Monday, a wet Valentine's Day, dry and breezy on Wednesday, and mild, too, with highs in the mid-60s. And then look for falling temperatures on Thursday with a risk of a changeover from rain to snow. Steve? All right.